Hello guys, in this video I want to talk about advanced operations with the image con type content items uh, like so. For example, what we can do is select the content item from the uh, content panel and then we can, as you can see, edit image using the default application for example. This I have here paint, save it and it will update in the editor uh, also we've added the replace image feature that only replaces the image itself from the image on disk and also we've added the save image as feature that allows saving the image to disk directly uh, why we added these features because if we have a protected file that has only export and copying enabled then you cannot uh, for example use the edit content tool to uh, launch the edit image using feature or you can do this from this contact menu also so we've added uh, this feature here that allows uh, saving the image on disk and then uh, open it from there uh, like like so um, okay it's loading yes uh, so uh, what this feature does uh, unlike the snapshot tool it saves uh, the image itself with the transparency which is very crucial to some users as we've read on forums uh, okay uh, what else We've added the uh, sub-menu to the object menu that contains uh, image modifications commands like uh, edit image using, replace image, save image and, and so on. And also we've modified the select text tool to select the image objects. Uh, it works like this, you just click on the image and uh, the content item selection becomes available and then you can for example save the image itself uh, like you can do from this context menu here uh, we are still working on this so uh, these commands are disabled for now uh, but they will be uh, they will have the same state as the commands here uh, basically, we tried not to change the uh, select text tool drastically, so you can use it as you were using it before. But right now, you can select the uh, single image objects like so and manipulate them. For example, in, in this here uh, protected document, you can do the same thing and you can export. Uh, the images that you need uh, so yeah uh, please write comments below about uh, whether you like this feature or not or some improvements that I can implement till the release ah and one more thing uh, we've in the case of OCR files we can select the text that is about the image so the text selection is uh, has higher priority than the selection of the image itself uh, basically right now we selected the image right now we are in the text selection that has been ocr anyways thanks for watching do not forget to subscribe and have a great day